welcome to your 10 minutes upper body workout. And we're gonna really focus on those arms. Yes, we are gonna feel the burn all through our upper body today. But before we get started, let's just talk about one awesome thing. Because if you are not already a member of our Burn by Rebecca Louise app, huh, you are missing out because every single month we have a brand new challenge that you can get involved in. Because look, how do you hit a goal? Well, you've got to break it down 30 days at a time. So make sure that you check out the burn method that's not only going to help you with your physical transformation, but it's going to help you with your mindset, waking up every day feeling positive, energetic, and ready to go. Okay, are you ready to work on those arms? Let's get started. You do not need any equipment for this workout routine, so there are no excuses not to do it. But of course, if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging for yourself, you can always add in some weights. Okay, so I've got my phone started, ready for us to go. We're gonna do 40 seconds of exercise. We're gonna do a 15 second rest. If you wanna take the rest, you can. If you're like, I'm just gonna keep on blasting through, you can do that too. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our feet a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. Take a nice big inhale. Ah, nice big exhale out, let all out that negativity, bring in all that positivity. And one more time, big exhale. Ah, all right, we're gonna take those arms out to the side and we're gonna take it with small little arm circles going backwards. So pull that core in nice and tight, slight bend in your knee, and then just think about arms being extended from one end to the other. Drop your shoulders down and small little circles going backwards, right? Every single rep that we do together today, you are going to be one step, one inch closer to getting the results that you are after. But look, we gotta fight for it. We gotta keep on going. So here we go. We've got another 10 seconds right here. So drop that shoulders down, lifting up through your chest, and just taking a nice big smile. You're here and you are not going anywhere. Three, two, one, and release. All right, you can get those arms a little bit of a rest just for a few seconds. Now we're gonna take those arms back out and we're gonna take those arm circles going forwards. So that's it, drop your shoulders down, lift up through your chest, pull your core in, and then really feel that extension from one fingertip all the way through to the other. And then let's keep those small little arm circles. That's it, just really tiny arm circles going forwards. We've done backwards, we've gone forwards. Now, if you maybe started off going forwards, now turn to go backwards. It's okay if you do it the other way, no problem. Drop your shoulders, that's it. I wanna keep on reminding you so that you're gonna get the best out of this workout routine, right? Every single thing that I just help you with is small little changes that will make the big difference by the end. And release. Okay, we're gonna take it into a fly with a pulse. So bring your legs wider apart. Your toes are still gonna be facing towards me. Big bend in the knee, then lean over. You're gonna take it into a fly and then you're gonna give me a pulse and squeeze at the top. So bring it back, you're gonna squeeze at the top and then all the way through, slow and controlled. Again, if you're like, this is too easy for me, I wanna make it harder, you can add on weights, but trust me, Ooh, you do not even need weights for this because you are gonna seriously feel the burn. If you're not already feeling it a little bit already, whoo, yeah, you're gonna feel it in about 30 seconds time. So that's it, I really want you to focus. Now, bring your shoulder blades together. If you're focused on just moving your arms, you're gonna miss that back squeeze and the back definition to tone up and lean out. So really pull it in and then squeeze and then give me one more and release, nice work. Okay, shake it out just a little bit. We're gonna take it into our V extension. So again, bring your feet a little bit closer together. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take it into V raises, so your palms are gonna be facing up, and then you're gonna take it halfway down. So lift and release. Here we go, chest is lifted. Again, we're tucking that core in nice and tight, and then just taking a couple of breaths, inhale, and exhale, here we go, that's it. Now, nice, long extensions. Think about your fingertips being as long as you can, and then just releasing your arms up and down. That's it, so take it almost just slightly where your eye line is, and then take it down onto that vertical. That's it, here we go. Nice job, everybody. Come on, keep this momentum going. If we show up with great energy, if we show up going, yes, I'm ready, I'm gonna crush it, we're gonna have a great experience, right? If you show up and you're like, oh, this is gonna be so difficult, and I can't do this, and oh no, that's what your experience is gonna be like. All right, you can either take a rest, or you can keep your arms up, 
And what we're gonna do here, keep a little bit of a less of a bend in your knee, and we're just gonna take it into our V raise pulses. So again, drop your shoulders down, pull up nice and tall into your core, and tiny little pulses right here. Woo, we are on fire. All right, <laughs> I'm definitely feeling the burn. If you can feel the burn, in our next break, right, which is in about 20 seconds time, I want you to type in the comments, I can feel the burn. All right, here we go. Drop your shoulders down, lifting up through your chest, giving yourself a smile. And here we go. Every single rep, it counts towards you getting those results that you are after. So here we go, all the way up for four, three, two, one and release. Okay, you're gonna take it even wider. We're gonna take it into around the world. So what you're gonna do is bring your palms facing towards me. Nice bend, pulling that core in nice and tight. Remember, if we use the core, we're gonna work those abs a little bit more as well. And we're gonna take it all the way up and then all the way back down. Now, if you think about being kind of relaxed and floppy, well, you're not gonna get as much out of this workout. But if you think about all of your upper body being strong, engaged, and tense, right? Tense your arms, you're gonna have a better result. And when you come to these workouts, even if you're not feeling 100%, I promise you that we're gonna be able to change your energy and get you feeling 100% by the end. Because when you look at things differently, the things that you look at will change. And we wanna come here and have a place of positivity, of excitement, of adrenaline, whoo, and just feeling good and being grateful. All right, all the way up and release. All right, we're gonna take it into forward arm pulses. So we're gonna bring both of our palms facing towards us. We're gonna take it out, little pulse at the top, and then halfway down. Now, what I want you to think about is if you've got something really heavy that you are pushing down towards the ground, and you're gonna have your arms nice and tight. This is gonna create a little bit more tension. So arms come down, lift up, little tiny pulse at the top, and then all the way down. That's it, nice work, so lift up little pulse at the top, and then halfway down, that's it. Now really think about those arms being tense. You're pushing down something that is really, really heavy, and then you're gonna to start to feel the difference. If you kind of do this, right, you've got no tension. But if you create the tension in your arms just by feeling that resistance, then you're gonna get an even better result. All right, nice work, here we go, all the way through. Breathe, give me one more, pulse, and release. Okay, taking those arms straight all the way back, you're gonna have a bend in your knees a little bit more than you were before. Now lean over, really lean, nice flat back, and we're gonna take it into tricep pulses out to the back. So again, lengthen up through your spine, and here we go, pulses up and down. Your palms are wide. Bend those knees a little bit forward. Now lean into it, nice flat back, and then extend those arms up together. Try and bring those hands a little bit closer towards each other. And that's it, slow little tiny pulses going up and down. You are halfway there already. Nice work, everybody, come on. Keep these pulses going, drop your shoulders, lengthen up through your spine. You have just got 10 seconds to go right here. Now try and bring those hands a little bit closer together. Bring those arms up even further for four, three, two, one and release, whoo, that was a good one. All right, we're gonna take it into a couple of front punches. So we're gonna get nice and wide and give it a nice bend. And we're just gonna take it across the body and give it a little bit of a punch. We're gonna work a little bit of your core as well here, working your obliques. All right, here we go, 40 seconds is on the clock. So really think about holding your core nice and tight, right? Every single rep that we are doing is creating a little bit more strength and that's creating the habit. If you feel like you're kind of going on and off and you're motivated sometimes and then you're not motivated, well, your motivation's gonna come from your energy. If your energy levels are nice and high and you're feeling happy and positive with gratitude, you're more likely to be sustainable with your workout. So if you're struggling with motivation, let's take a look at that energy. And then how do you get energy? Well, go do a little workout, eat some good food, work around people who are positive and happy too. All right, and release. Okay, we're gonna take it into up and down arm pulses. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take it wide out to the side, and then we're just gonna take pulses up and down. So let's start off with those palms facing down towards the ground, and that's it, just little pulses up and down. Chest is lifted, you're giving yourself a smile because you are here, you are making it happen for yourself, and then you are just smiling through it. That's it, up and down we go, dropping your shoulders, lifting up through your chest, giving yourself a great smile, 
You are here, you are making it happen for yourself. We've just got 20 seconds left of this exercise. That's it, slight bend in your knees so that you don't lock out. And look, if you feel like, oh my goodness, I want my arms to be dropped down, just keep remembering your body is your mind is what gives up before your body does, right? It's our mindset that can keep us going. All right, we're gonna flip those palms over. We're gonna do the same thing, but those palms going up. Really think about extending from fingertip to fingertip, slight bend in the knee, drop your shoulders down, chest is lifted, and here we go. Little pulses going up and down. Woo, looking so good, everybody. Looking so strong, just remember, Right, every single time that you show up for a workout, you have a choice of how you're gonna show up and how you're gonna do it. If you change your energy from a five to a 10, whoo, what's gonna happen to your workout? You're gonna be even more incredible. And what's gonna happen to your results? Oh yes, it's gonna be next level. Here we go. Chest is lifted, keep those pulses up and down, really extending your arms. Here we go, we got this and breathe for five. Four, three, two, one, and gently release. So, all right, we got one, we got two more exercises we're gonna do right here. We're gonna bring those arms straight out in front as if you're holding like a massive football. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze your arms and your hands together. But I really want you to think about that you've got something that is like hard and squishy that you've got right in front of you and you're really just trying to push it in and out. That's it, lifting up through the chest. Now extend your arms. All your, I should be able to come along and your arms should be not being able to move, right? If you're relaxed like this and I can move your arm, that's not gonna give you your result. You wanna think toned and tight and strong and engaged. That's it, little pulses in and out. Whew. One more exercise after this. And I want you to keep your arms up even during our little rest period, okay? We're gonna keep them in a static hold. So keep that chest lifted, keep smiling, keep saying to yourself, I've got this. You know, my body is not gonna quit on me. It's my mindset that I need to work on right now. All right, we're gonna flip those palms over. Same thing, we're gonna pulse it out to the side, but hold that static pose right here. Feel that strength running out all through your fingertips. And here we go, last 40 seconds, and pulse it out. That's it, nice bend in your knee to make sure that your joints don't lock, and really focus. All of that tension right now in your body wants to be whoo, right here in your arms. That's it, here we go. Really push it out, every single rep. Make it count. Make it, say, tell yourself like, hey, I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna make sure that I don't quit. I'm just gonna be somebody from now on that doesn't quit. I'm not a quitter. Say it to yourself, I'm not a quitter. As we've got 10 seconds left to go, here we are. Come on, breathe through it. Give yourself a nice smile for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Whoo, shake it out. Awesome job. Now, huh, wanna do this workout again? Wait till tomorrow. I've got another great workout for you to do right now if you're like, hey, my arms are burning, I'm feeling great, I've got great energy, just do one more. The power of one more, right? You're only gonna go and scroll on social media for 10 minutes, you may as well just do another one of these workouts <laughs> and make sure that you crush it just like you crushed this one. All right, I'll see you there.